Hey, how's it going, you hamster-shaped hip on tops? Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let y'all know that I do stream over on twitch.tv slash azulgg. Um, I stream PTGO Monday to Friday, sometimes stream on the weekends, depending on my tournament schedule. I also stream League Cups and League Challenges over on my channel, so be sure to go check that out. Twitch.tv slash azulgg. Today, we're going to be playing some games with Pablo Mimza's extremely annoying... Um, don't let my opponent play the game. Trevnor dot melodic dot deck that also has Gengar Mimikyu in it because uh, the Horror House GX is uh, pretty good. Um, so the point of this deck is to turn two, use Melo Melodic's Energy Grace to put you behind on prize cards and set up your Night Watch attack, then Ace Trainer your opponent down to three cards. And then use Night Watch for 150 damage and take two cards out of their hand and hope that the last card that they have in their hand is not Sycamore and hope that they don't top deck Sycamore. And if they do, we do it again. And then once again, we hope for the same thing. Uh, there's also a Gengar Mimikyu, like I mentioned in here, for the GX attack. So if we do go second, we can just go turn one GX attack. You can't do anything on your next turn. Okay, back to my turn. Okay, uh, Pop Melodic. All right, three energy on my Trevnor. All right, Night Watch. All right. Ace Trainer, all right, I hope you don't have anything good in your hand. And that is the deck. 1-1 one, one Muck in here to shut down stuff like Instruct Orangaroo, if we can set it up. Uh, and yeah, the deck is kind of built around pure consistency from there. There's like a counter catcher, so in case there's something we want to chase on the bench as opposed to hitting the active, we can do that. Uh, if we do go first, we can use the Pale Moon GX, but it's probably never as good as Night Watch because the, the, the point of the deck is to make sure our opponent doesn't do anything on their turn. And to do that, we got to get rid of the, the cards that they have in their hand. And I don't think I have anything else to say on the list. My sequencing is definitely going to be off with this a little bit. So try and be a little bit nicer than you normally would in the comments below. And let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Getting into the first one here. We did go. We are going second. But we did open up the Gengar Mimikyu. So that's okay. I don't really care if we're going second if we opened up the Gengar Mimikyu. There is a Silent Lab though. Going to be looking for a top deck here to bump this Silent Lab. Because currently uh, we can't use setup. And we have an Ultra Bomb, so we need a top deck. Our opponent's using Guzman Hala turn one. So this is actually setting up perfectly for us to win this one because our opponent's using Guzman Hala, which means they're going to have a one-card hand. Maybe a two-card hand because they'll probably keep the Silent Lab, I guess. So they'll have a two-card hand. So if we just go Horror House, they'll have a three-card hand. We won't even have to Ace Trainer next turn. Um, and we'll just take away two of those cards, and uh, the game will basically be over. Um, but if we don't top deck, top deck can end. Not exactly what I meant, but okay, that's fine. Uh, we can use a couple of these things, get a couple of things out, like uh, B-Bass is pretty cool. We do need a Trevnor as well. We'll probably go ahead and grab Trev Dude. Keep the Via Seeker in the deck, I think. Um, so we'll Ultra Ball away these two. Grab ourselves a Trevnor. I think I want a Trevnor. I'm actually not too sure what I want here, but I think it's Trevnor. Um, yeah. Bench the Feebas, bench the Trevnor, play the N. We don't need to Ace Trainer turn one. Have, them having more cards in their hand doesn't matter. We can still get around that. Oh no, our follow up is currently trash. So we do need to top deck a, what's it called, on the following turn. We could go attach, um, and then next turn attach Horror House. We could do that. That doesn't seem very. Oh no, they're going to take away our energy. So we're going to have to go attach and Horror House, and then we're just hoping to top deck uh what's it called a stadium or a nope a stadium a stadium is literally the only thing we can top deck here that will be any good for us at all ever um here it is okay there we go we're in we can go computer search away these two ultra ball away those two we could ultra ball away these two or the melodic um now we can just go hmm so i want to go for shaman we could go melodic and then Ace Trainer. But at the stadium, getting the stadium in place seems more important, so I'm going to go for that. All right. There is the top deck we were looking for to get back into this game. So we're going to Ultra Ball away these, grab myself a Shaman, and then I'm going to Computer Search away these, and grab myself a something else that we need to get, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, Skyfield. We'll look what else is in the deck. All right. All the Skyfields were there the whole time. There's a Float Stone. Two Ace Trainers. We need to get one of those in the discard pile to make sure we can access it. Four Battle Compressors still in the deck. Only two energy in the discard pile. So we do need to fix that. We do need to get a third one of those in there. I guess we don't need to. We could also attach for turn. We'll see what the Shaman gets us. Hopefully just stuff to keep moving with this deck. That's a lot of stuff to keep moving. All right. Battle Compressor we can get rid of. Psychic. 
Um, maybe the rest of the psychics. Like we could do this. We have an H-Trainer in hand now, so I don't need to battle compressor one. But we could still battle compressor one as well. So let's get rid of a psychic. Uh, this, uh, the weakness policy. Don't need any of those. Need to not attack as much as possible here. Another battle compressor we'll get rid of. Like, uh, I don't think we need muck. Um, I don't think we need do we want the other psychic access to the other psychics i don't think so i think these could end up in the discard pile as well so we can go like that and then we can battle compressor again and we can be like all right now we can get rid of um fuel blower doesn't seem necessary but that we might use the fuel blower sycamore could get rid of the sycamore because we could we'd probably want to be able to be a seeker for it if we wanted to use it um get rid of this guy for sure and then we need to hit the melodic but we could get rid of like the Ditto. Um, yeah, seems fine. Like I said, I'm gonna be struggling here in this one. I not, I do not know how to play this deck perfectly. I'm learning here along with you guys. Okay. Trainer's Mail, that's no good. That's no way to find a Melodic. And I think we simply lose this game. We can be a Seeker for N. Um, hmm. This stinks. All right, I guess we're grabbing the Via Seeker. We needed just a way to get the Melodic out to keep going from here, and sometimes you hit three Via Seekers. All right, so we have to end here, and we're going to give our opponent these three prize cards, and then we're just going to hope for the best, I guess. Another Feebass would be nice to make sure we don't just lose. Yeah, so we can go Communication Away the Shaman, uh, get a Feebass, bench it, uh, and then just hoping for the best from there. We're not attacking this turn. Um, we're simply hoping we just don't lose the game. Um, bench the B-Bass and pass over to our opponent. I'm going to give them three prize cards, probably. They probably have a stadium to, to replace or to get a garb, and then they're going to knock out our Gengar and Mimikyu, and then we are probably going to lose the game, but we might win. There's still a possibility we win, but we have a ton of items in our discard pile. So if they, like, set up a Trash Lanch here, I think we just lose. Well, we have our Counter Catcher left, actually, so we could go KO the Trash. It doesn't... It works. It's tough. It's tough. We're in a tough spot. Still winnable. Um, definitely winnable, just very tough. Um, yeah, we still actually have a turn to come back here because um, we can still very much limit them down to the three cards. Um, actually, even less because we're going to pop a Melodic. We could even pop two Melodics um, and actually end them. Well, if we can just get them to end the two, that's actually pretty good, which we can do, actually. So we can take away their whole hand. Um, and they don't have like st enough stuff set up in play where we're actually really worried about anything. So actually, I think we're kind of in a fine spot, actually, this whole time. Uh, that probably should have gone on the Trubbish. Um, he does play Trash Lynch. They're both in the discard pile. That's pretty good for us. That was the only thing I was really scared of was Trash Lanch. Oh, we don't have our Field Blower. Huh. We do play a Field Blower. That's the important part. But we can't uh, Melodic right now, unfortunately. So we have to end first, which kind of stinks. Because then we end and then we give them a prize card to work with. So unless we top deck Field Blower, which is possible. It is possible to top deck Field Blower. Um, we're going to be in still a pretty bad spot. I guess I could have popped the Melodic right then. Three energy here and then we could have we would be able to end lower and then we wouldn't have even needed to yeah i don't know why i didn't do that that was like a weird play for me i'm, I'm not sure why i didn't do that all right skyfield uh evolve yeah why didn't i use the the melodic last turn that was weird i should have definitely used melodic no field blower yet hold up we have trainer's mail I'm going to get thin out a little bit more with the Ultra Ball. I'm just going to play the Trainer's Mill for the Field Blower. No Field Blower. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, taking the L on this one. Let's get to the next one. Uh, we'll do a little bit better next time. Shaman opening in this one. We are going first, though, so it's a little bit better for us overall. There's the Gengar Mimikyu. We don't need him anymore, I don't think. This is where we give up on Gengar Mimikyu. So we start with the Trainer's Mail. Um, there's an Ultra Ball. We want to go a little bit deeper into this turn for sure. So we can calm this guy away. Um, I can start to set up the muck. We should probably do it through Ditto. I'm going to grab Ditto because it's a little bit more flexible. I'm then going to Ultra Ball away these two. Grab myself a... <sighs> sure, it gets tough. I guess we can get a Shaman here. <clears throat> I want to like do more stuff this turn than what I'm currently doing. So now we're gonna keep the Via Seeker. We could have got Dead Change, got rid of the Via Seeker, but if we get a Battle Compressor, then it combos with this, like there, right there. Battle Compressor. Um, so now we can like ditch the Sycamore and a third Psychic to the discard pile. We don't know if we need the weakness policies yet. 
We already have everything else we really need in the discard pile in the discard pile for that stuff. We're not going to use Gengar Mimikyu theoretically this game, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of him. And we get a nice Sycamore for the turn, which is kind of cool, so let's go ahead and do that. And Sycamore. Do, 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 do. Five, six, seven. Um, uh, bench the Trevnor. Play the Nest Ball. Grab a Feebas. Um, now we can set up the Muck if we want to as well. And I think we just pass. I think we're, we're pretty set up here. This looks pretty good to me. Uh, Yeah, our, I think our opponent can have it from here. Um, I don't see anything else to be done. Let's go ahead. Let's pass. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they're playing. Yeah, we can set up the, the Melodic and maybe the Muck on the next turn. We get the three energy. We're pretty much set up to pull off the combo. And then hopefully just ruin our opponent's day. There goes a Flareon from a treasure. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, maybe it's a Zorark deck with a Flareon line, and they also play Treasure to up the consistency to find the Trubbish and Garb, and there's a Trubbish, and it also finds Lele. Um, there's a Bridget, so I'm assuming it is Zorark uh, Garboder, Garboder, uh, but we'll see here for sure in just a second. Um, I have to imagine it's like a pretty decent matchup. I guess but we are weak, um, so we do want the weakness policy, so it's a good thing we did leave those in the deck. Definitely don't seem like a necessity in this matchup but they're definitely not bad and all right this is it this is the game we're gonna pull off the combo um and then just kind of hope for the best the battle compressor again um i don't think we ever set up two trevnor but we might actually so i kind of don't want to get rid of the other trevnor we could get rid of i mean are the melodic prize we get rid of grimer and feebas because the muck's gonna go on the ditto theoretically and then we could also get rid of, I guess I want to keep the end in the deck, the weakness policies we want, the flotsums we want, the psychic energies. I guess could make their way to the discard pile. That wouldn't hurt at least one of them. Go like that. All right, the melodic evolves. We use the energy grace. We get three energy. We put them on the Trevenant, Dustnor, the Trevnor. Our opponent draws a prize card. Because it is knocked out we fall behind on the prize cards we hit them with the ace trainer here we shuffle and get six they shuffle and get three unfortunately the deck isn't like a a full lock um but it's still pretty good yeah the deck's not a full lock we have our counter catcher i kind of want to take this dc out of play um because just hitting their active is like I guess we kind of have to get through the Lele at some point anyways. So maybe I should save the Counter Catcher if something else comes up. Yeah, I think I should save the Counter Catcher in case something else comes up. So I think we are just going to go with the Night Watch here. 150. Take two cards out of their hand. Shuffle them into the deck. Via Seeker Garbodor seems okay to me. We'll see what their card in hand plus their top deck is. Um, the cool part about this combo is it doesn't ever allow them to use. Of course, it is a Zorark. Okay. So we have to trade the one card in their hand to get two cards. Um, we're not out of it yet, but that's a pretty rough uh, situation to deal with. Um, I should have got Muck. I don't know why I didn't get Muck. Um, I should have dug a little bit deeper and got Muck to prevent stuff like Ultra Ball for Shaman or Shaman. There's a Faba off my Float Stone. That's fine. We can take once again take away their hand. Still in a fine spot here. Um, definitely should have dug a little bit deeper last turn. Definitely should get out Muck. Um, definitely misplayed. Still fine. In kind of a bad spot. Let's go with Tra Trajmel first. Um, Calm for the muck sounds pretty good to me. Don't want to give our opponent Skyfield. So we're gonna go communication. Put the Dedene away for right now. Get ourselves a muck into the hand. Evolve the muck. Oh, not yet. Floatstone. Counter catcher the Zorark. Yeah, hold on here. Set up for three. Computer search away. I don't know. These two seems fine. Sure. Get ourselves a weakness policy. Policy of weakness. Evolve to the muck. And then... How much? How badly do I want to see more cards? I don't know. I guess I could Sycamore here. Let's go with the Sycamore. And then Sycamore. Oh, seven more options. I don't know how much these options are gonna help us. I mean, healing is pretty good with Malo and Lana, so um, then I could pale Moon GX. We would discard the energy, and and then they would get knocked out going into our turn. So I kind of like that. Let's go with the pale Moon GX here. Get rid of the DC. I mean, we could have left them with a zero card hand, which is pretty good as well. But now they have to like get to the bench. 
and then get back to the active. Maybe just hitting them was better. Maybe just Night Watch take away all their options out of hand was a little bit better. I actually don't know. There's an N. That's going to suck. Um, could get via Seeker Ace Trainer to put them back down to a smaller hand size, though. So this one combo did not quite, quite work as well as we wanted it to. They had a Zorark. <laughs> our, uh, our Night Watch did not quite do what we wanted it to. They play Chaotic Swell, so they're not going to be hitting us too hard, I guess. But we have a lot of items, so if they ever just set up a Trash Alanche, we're going to be in trouble. And there is a Trash Alanche, so we are going to be in trouble. Um, for sure. There's an attach to it. Oh no. Welp. Uh... Please don't have a float stone. There's the knockout. We're going to get two prize cards here. Maybe we'll get access to a Guzma or something that will allow us to get through it. Nope, not yet. We could set up the Gengar Mimikyu, though, to be able to attack with, which I think is what we're going to go with here at this point. Um, so we can go Gengar Mimikyu, attach, and then Night Watch. Zero card hand for our opponent. But now we have to hope they get a trainer or a, a what's it called when they do knock out our guy, which they are going to knock out with Trash Lanch, because we have an absurd amount of items. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16. Yeah, they, they knock us out. They definitely knock us out. They'll knock us out. They'll go down to two cards. We can end them to two. Well, I think we'd actually... I don't even know. Do we just want to hit them with... I actually... This is actually really awkward. Do I leave the three cards? Because they need to have two trainer cards for Poltergeist to take the knockout here. Oh, goodness. Uh, so I guess I leave their hand as is, and then we Poltergeist. And we hope they ripped two trainer cards off of their prize cards here. Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. And Poltergeist. One trainer card. No, it's not quite enough, and they're simply going to trash a land just again on their next turn and knock us out and draw their last two prize cards. All right, so our opponent... Getting the Zorark off of there, what's it called? A little bit too punishing, couldn't quite keep up. And yeah, I mean, that's the nature of the deck. If you don't get them on the lock, they're usually just fine. And that's exactly what happened in this one. Let's see if we can't finally pull off a win in the next one. Going first, started Shaman. That's fine. Uh, got an Ultra Ball to Ultra Ball. Communication, Battle Compressor in hand. Uh, up against the Ultra Necrozma. I'm going to start with the Battle Compressor here. We're going to get rid of Sycamore. Um... I don't know, two energy, because we, we need the energy in the discard pile to be able to attack with our Trevnor, which we prized to Trevnor. We have prized to Trevnor. Uh, it's, it's like one of those things. You know what they say. Uh, bada bing, sometimes you prize to Trevnor. Okay, I'm feeling it in this one. This is going to be the one where we combo our opponent and it sticks. We got a super strong start. They opened a trouble, which just makes me not want to put Grimer down. Um, let's start with the Battle Compressor gonna get rid of sycamore and just two psychics to start with i think i mean that seems solid to me like a good way to start um battle compressor again get rid of this guy because we don't need him could get rid of a third psychic that seems fine to me and yeah i mean that seems uh, it seems okay we should get rid of something else obviously i almost an ace trainer probably sycamore is in the discard yeah gonna go ahead and calm away the shaman gonna grab myself a Dedene oh Dedene is not in the deck okay so we've been a perfect time for Dedene um, should have checked didn't check going back with shaman okay attach active bench Grimer I guess we're benching this guy as well and then we'll set up for four here um, and hope we draw something good all right we got a lot of options here we we're, we're draw we drew pretty well there um, st uh, bench B bass, trainer's mill. There's an ace trainer. I think we already have one in the discard pile. We do. Um, so I might just play the N. Actually, um, I could ultra ball more stuff away, get another fee bass down, or get another Trevnor or something. But I'm just gonna end. I'm gonna leave the ultra ball in the deck to be able to find more shamans and leave the bench space open as well. More stuff to work with there. Um, yeah, just go for the end play, and then I think we are just going to go ahead and... This hand looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to pass to my opponent. I don't think we need to be too much more aggressive here. I think we just pass to our opponent, see what they got for us. Go from there. We got the Ace Trainer. We got the Ultra Ball for the Melodic. There's a Guzma and Hala from our opponent. Um, so yeah, the Muck not going to do anything here. I'm pretty sure we're up against Ultra Necrozma, if I had to guess. If I had to guess at this point, probably Ultra Necrozma. I guess it could not be, but that would be unexpected. Uh, something like that. I'm going to assume Ultra Necrozma at this point. Hey, Silent Lab. 
Bloodstone, DDE, everyone's favorite combo to see. Um, so it doesn't stop Melodic, thankfully, so we can still Melodic this turn. No trouble, no problem with that. Uh, we'll probably just go computer search for a Skyfield, you set up first, try and find some more stuff. Um, so that is four energy in our discard pile now, unfortunately, so we didn't really want that. But we could go, like I said, computer search, get rid of these two, grab a Skyfield, give ourselves some more options, make them need a little bit more if they do draw well off of the, what's it called? This guy set up for four now. Gotta get the Melodic. I kinda want another Feebass down anyways. Bear's Mail, Nest Ball. That'll get the Feebass. Um, so we go Nest Ball, grab ourselves a Feebass. Ultra Ball, grab ourselves a Melodic. Leave the Skyfield in the deck. Use the Melodic, play the Ace Trainer. Hope for the best. And then we have a back. If they do knock us out next turn, if they draw well enough to knock us out, we do have a backup melodic to work with our second trevnor so that's like the idea behind getting both here three they go to the active then we could even end our opponent to one which would be nice um or yeah we could end them to one actually which is pretty cool um give them a prize card here they'll go up to four cards ace trainer i'm back down with the ace trainer all right this one i'm feeling it we're gonna get the lock they're gonna be shut out of the game good hand to work with on the following turn as well if we need it and Night Watch, 150, three card hand, taking away two cards. Got their Nest Ball and their Garbodor. So if they do have a draw supporter, they did get to keep it or like anything good. Um, we get to get our one prize card though. So that's pretty cool too. Um, but we, we have a good follow up. We, we're looking like we have a good follow up no matter what. Even if they have Sycamore here, there, there it is. If they have Juniper here, knock out our active, we can respond with N to one, take away your whole hand. Now what are you gonna do? um so that's we're still in it far from out of it they still need the energy as well otherwise we can just go ace trainer do it again all right do you have it again hopefully not you already had it once how do you have to have it twice um we'll see rainbow energy are they going to go for the acid spray or are they just going to wait they are going to go for the acid spray okay okay i still kind of want to just sit on this hand actually and then just kind of wait because they are down to three cards so us using ace trainer really doesn't do anything so i think we just sit on the hand and then we just take away some more card. i could put this psychic here i guess like that seems fine um and then uh night watch again here we go knock out three card hand we could we could have ace trainer oh we couldn't ace trainer actually we're up in prizes now all right give it to the guzmahala and a nest ball does that mean the last card in their hand is a via seeker we're gonna find out um yeah, never mind. I couldn't have Ace Trainer anyways. They were at three cards though, so that's uh, punishing enough. So I guess we were just in already in like the best possible position. Now they have a two card hand and just a Trubbish in an Ultra Necrozma. I think we maybe finally got the combo to stick. Um, and it doesn't have to like, you don't have to win on the first time around. You can kind of do it over two turns and you're still just kind of fine. Uh, we do have a Mallow and Lana, but we have nothing to pivot off of. We could create our own pivot though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So two twenty. Um, so if we went like, ooh, that would be that would be difficult. Uh, ten, eleven, twelve, two forty, six. Nah. So we're never really getting to the point unless I got rid of both skyfields, but I don't want to get rid of both skyfields. So I think we just go attach the shaman to create it into a pivot, and then night watch zero card hand for our opponent. This is their time to top deck if they've ever had a time to top deck in their lives. Will they top deck? Well, let's find out right here as we get our third prize card of the game. It is the rat himself, Dedene. Could get rid of him with the Mellow and Lana. I don't really like him anyway. Okay, there we go. Top deck Juniper. All right, our opponent's having quite a good run of it so far with the top, and there's the rainbow. All right, we're still in it though. Okay, actually we just win. We've done it. We have won a game with the Trevnor deck. I misplayed a couple of times in the other games. I'm learning the deck still. Definitely stronger when you play it correctly. And we finally have got ourselves a dub here with the Trevnor. Gonna Ultra Ball away. I don't know, it doesn't really, really get rid of the rat just because I don't like him. And the Skyfield. Get ourselves the Melodic. Gonna use that Energy Grace. Grab ourselves the three energy out of the discard pile. Put those on our active Trevnor. And there's the concession from our opponent. And that's gonna do it for this video on Trevnor, guys. Uh, the wacky, don't let my opponent play the game deck that Pablo Mimza got top eight with at Dallas Regionals. If you enjoy these kind of decks, 
that don't let your opponent play the game, check them out. Check this one out because uh, it does it pretty well. Um, just about as good as anything could in the expanded format, besides something like Shock Lock, um, where once you set up, you lock them out. This one is kind of like you don't let your opponent even get to the point where they set up, or, or your opponent just doesn't get to play the game. I mean, against a Shock Lock, you actually just don't kind of don't let your opponent get to play the game either. But this deck can... Trevnor can beat... Trevnor doesn't really have any bad matchups, whereas Shock Lock is like, oh, you have... Playing Zoro Garb, I lose. Oh, you play a couple Switch cards, I lose. This one's just kind of like, well, I'm going to take two of your three cards out of your hand, and if you got a good card, you're still in the game. If you didn't get a good card, you're out of the game. And even if they did get the good card, you can still come back, as you saw our opponent there, um, got back-to-back -back Junipers, and we we're still able to close it out. So, try out the deck. Hope you had a good day. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.